Marketing and advertising can be complicated. complicated. What's most important? What should I focus on? Direct marketing? Email campaigns? Social media? Cold calling. With Marketing Atlas, you'll have a clear guide to get more leads, close more sales, and take your business to the next level. Welcome to Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. With your host, Hernan Vasquez. Do you want to get better results with your Facebook ads? If so, I have some really good news today. I want to share with you five things that you can do to actually increase your Facebook ads performance. Hey everybody, Hernan Vasquez here. I'm the owner and CEO of ScaleDriven.com. At ScaleDriven.com, we help entrepreneurs, business owners with their funnels, with their digital marketing, with their advertising campaigns. We do it for them and we show them how to do it as well. So if you want to learn more about that, go to ScaleDriven.com. We have a little message there. Hope that you like it. And today on this episode, I want to share with you five ways that you can use actually by the end of this video to actually increase that performance of your Facebook ads. If you're noticing that the performance could be better or if you're not getting results or if you're losing money or if you're paying too much per lead or whatever that is, on this video, I want to kind of solve that. I want to share with you how you can actually get your ads back on track. Now, with that being said, if you love advertising and marketing content, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, rate, because um, it really helps us grow. We're doing this because we want to help more entrepreneurs. So if you want to kind of help with the ripple effect, go ahead and uh, leave us a comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody that needs to see this. Cool, let's talk about these five ways to actually increase the performance of your Facebook ads. And I know that many of you have been kind of struggling with Facebook ads, some stuff that used to work really well, doesn't work as well right now. iOS 14 kind of, you know, threw everything out of whack. And now things are getting back on track, but you know, we've been in a couple of rough years, Facebook ads advertisers and entrepreneurs in general, but if you want to get things back on track, I have five things that you can do today. So first thing is, to write better copy. How do you write better copy? How do you actually call out your marketplace when it comes to Facebook ads? And that's the first tip right there. That's the first strategy. You want to make sure that with the stuff that you're saying, you're selling two things. Number one, you're selling the emotional connection, all right? And number two is that you're selling the click. That is really important. So how do you sell the emotional connection? How do you connect emotionally or how do you actually call out your ideal marketplace? Well. We have several for formulas to do this. I like to use one specific formula, which is if you want to get X without Y, read this. And that's gonna be the first line of my copy. If you want to get better results with this, without doing this, read this. Or if you want to get X without Y, I have some really good news. In fact, that's how I open this video. If you check, right, after we're done, you can go back and you can check that's how I open that video because it works. No matter if you're selling uh, something on video or if you're writing copy, it works really well. So the first line of copy is to really call out your ideal marketplace. So you can use that formula, which is if you want to grow better tomatoes without using fertilizer, here's some good news, right? In case that you're targeting people that want to grow tomatoes organically. So you want to use that formula and that's usually my first line of copy. Now, the rest of the copy, the rest of the body copy of the ad usually talks a lot about emotional connection, going into the, or your prospects, needs and desires and pain points and then at the end of the day or at the end of the ad rather you want to sell the click you don't want to sell the product if you're selling people if you're sending people to an info product or to an econ product or to a webinar you don't want to sell that you want to sell the click you want to entice people curiosity enough so that they can click on the ads and what happens there is that two things number one you're getting better quality traffic to your website why because a lot of people will not be compelled by your copy and then they're not gonna click on the app. So that it's a good thing. You want to be magnetic with your copy when it comes to attracting the right people and you want to repel people that you don't wanna attract, okay? So that's number one. But also number two, your click-through rate will increase. And if your click-through rate will increase, that means that Facebook will show your ads to more people because they are saying, wow, 
This is a really good hot ad that people are engaging with. I'm going to show it to more people and, and Facebook, Facebook is going to reward you with lower and lower cost to advertise on their platform. So writing better copy has a lot, a lot of uses and you can split test this all the time. You can have dynamic ads with different copy, then see what works the best. You can change the first line and usually the first line has a lot of impact because it's the first thing that people see when they're taking a look at your ad. So try that out. Tip number two or strategy number two is to use high contrast images. On my YouTube channel or on my social media, I'm always talking about what's working right now with Facebook ads, right? I'm always talking about these images are working better or these videos are working better. And historically, I've been running ads for, I don't know, eight years now. And historically, high contrast images have worked really well. What do I mean with high contrast? These are images that really pop out from the background. If you think about it, both Facebook and Instagram backgrounds are either white or dark, depending if you're rocking the light more mode or the dark mode. So what happens there is that you want to use an image that's contrasting with the background. You don't want to use images that kind of blend with the background. You want to use images with high contrasting colors. In fact, here's a little bit of a tip. If you have a working image like a photo or a selfie or maybe an ad, a banner ad that's working really well on Facebook, just check up the contrast on that image. You will see that it increases your CTR. And again, if you increase your CTR, Facebook will show it to more and more people. So it's really powerful and it takes you like 30 seconds to increase contrast of a working image. Number three, if you're using videos right now, which you should, by the way, something that you can do to increase the performance is to split test the thumbnails. Believe it or not, Facebook will show a thumbnail for like a second or for half a second, and then it will start auto playing the video, depending if you're on a mobile phone or if you're in computer or whatever. So what happens is that if you split the thumbnail, you can increase your CTR. You can increase, increase the amount of people that are clicking on your ads. And this is something that not a lot of advertisers do or know how to do. It's as simple as if you have a working video, just change the thumbnail. See how that works. Try with another thumbnail. In fact, you can try with one of your best images. You can use that as a thumbnail of the video. And now you have a working image with a working video and it works really well. So you can change the thumbnail and that will also give you more lifespan on that video that's working well. So split testing thumbnails in your Facebook ads can really increase the, qual the quality of the leads that you're getting and the performance of your Facebook ads. Number four, it's broadening your targeting. You know, sometimes I talk to clients a lot and one of the things that a lot of clients are fixing upon is trying to find the best possible audience, right? Trying to find that obscure interest that nobody else is targeting so that we can actually hone in in, your, in our ideal demographic or ideal customer. And I understand that, but that's generally not how it works on Facebook. And here's why. Facebook has billions of data points of each of their users. And they create a, an online avatar of each of their users, right? And they have a lot more data than you and I combined. We might know our audience, but they know their users, right? So the broader targeting perspective works really well, especially if you pair this with really adamant copy about who you're call calling out for or calling out to, because it allows you to do two things. Number one, it allows Facebook to optimize. And there's something called um, audience liquidity. You want to have enough audience in the pool of people that you're targeting so that Facebook can optimize toward that audience, right? That's number one. But also number two, you get rewarded with cheaper ads. If you're trying to really hone in into your targeting demographic and you're layering all of these interests and you're targeting all of these people, you're going to end up paying a lot more per click. And usually that's not that effective. That is one of the main difference between running Facebook ads and running Google ads is that with Google ads, you can be really honed in and you don't get penalized. But on Facebook, you do, right? Because they're trying to get advertisers to broaden up their audiences. So if you have a working campaign or if you're struggling with your campaign, but you have, let's say, enough pixel data and, and enough leads and enough sales and all that, you can actually broaden your targeting and that will give you better results. So bottom line, let Facebook optimize a little bit because they have a lot more data than you and I combined. And number five, which also ties to number four, which also ties to all of the other strategies that I've been sharing with you throughout this content, is using third-party tracking. This is so important for two main reasons. Number one is that you want to send Facebook the data that it needs to optimize. If you're um, relaying too much on the Facebook pixel, you're missing out on a lot of data. In fact, you're missing out on a lot of Apple data because still Apple is not talking to Facebook and Facebook is not talking to Apple. They're still, you know, sleeping in separate beds. So what you want to do, actually use a third-party data or a third-party tracking tool. There are a ton of tools out there. 
I'm just gonna name a few like high rose, any track, uh, red track, copy box, depending on what you're rocking, depending on what you're using. You can even use Google Tag Manager or Zapier to do this. The main point is this, you want to send data back to Facebook the right way. And you want to also have visibility on those conversions that Facebook do not have visibility upon, right? So whenever you're using a third party data uh, or third party tracking system, you can actually feed that information back to Facebook, which makes your campaign smarter, makes the pixel smarter, and makes the broader audiences work better with the Alamon copy, right? So using a third party tracking is really important. In fact, it's a must right now if you're running Facebook ads. So there you have it, five things that you can test right when this video ends or by the end of today or by the end of this week to actually increase your campaign's performance. And if they do increase your campaign's performance, make sure that you reach out drop a comment somewhere around here because I want to know how these things impacted your campaign performance so that we can keep on optimizing these methodologies. It will really help getting more people uh, to learn about this remarketing and we can help more entrepreneurs in the meantime. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.